Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome back. I'm here today to do my update for the Skin Is In Project Pan. This is a Fantastic Ladies collab project and it was created by Jessica and Amanda. And this project focuses on using up our skincare. That's pretty much it. No. <laughs> no, for this project, we typically select five items to work on in the skincare category. And I have been really struggling with the five items I originally put in this project. And I finally, finally have some empties. I'm so excited. And I have three. <laughs> I have three and they're all amazing. N not all three of them are like the, well, they're all great. Okay, let me share with you what I got the best empty of them all. Yes. This sucker's done. I'm so happy. This sucker is done. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm so happy. As you can probably tell I was not the biggest fan of this product I was so close to finishing it I was like just struggle through it Jaylon and you know what I could probably eke out a couple more uses of this but nope not gonna do it I have used this I've used all what how many freaking grams 15 grams of this I, I've used enough so we're done and I will never repurchase this <laughs> I've never repurchased this. Did not love it. Nope. Glad that is done. So now I can focus like 100% unless something comes up in like turn and burn or something like that on the Algenist 360 degree wrinkle fighter serum to try to work that out because that is in my A to Z project pan. So I'm thrilled and I really do like that serum. So <sighs> yes. All right, the second empty is my Skin Laundry Hydrating Cream Face Wash. So this sucker is done. Yay. I liked this face wash. I would not repurchase it. My skin did feel dry and tight after using it. I think at the end of the day, I just prefer to use an oil. I just prefer to use an oil and I just need to work all of the cleansers out of my collection. There is one cream cleanser that I love that I've run across so far and it is by Paul Cherie. It's spelled S-C-E-R-R-I, but it's pronounced Cherie. My aunt is an esthetician, so she has those she used to. I don't know if she still does. She'd be able to purchase those products to sell and she would get me a professional size. I loved that cream cleanser. So good. But, you know, I just now get a bottle of face, like oil cleanser. And I'll talk about one here in a minute, but I specifically like, like a, an, a pure oil. I like the oils. <laughs> My skin likes the oils. So this would not be a repurchase for me. If you have like oily or combo skin, you, you'd probably like this. Or if you don't have super dry skin, you would probably like this. I just, my dry skin needs more or needs less, I guess. It needs more oily product. <laughs> Okay, my last empty is the Ordinary Retinol 1% in Squalene. So I was using this on the Ketosis Polaris on my arms. At the end of the day, I don't think this did much. I don't think it did very much at all. And I blew through this. I would not repurchase this particular product. I'm sure there are some people who love this, but it just did not do what I wanted it to do. So it was a bust for me. Now, I am going to select a product for this. This is the Shuamura 
Nutri Nectar Gentle Cleansing Oil and Emulsion. So this is how I'm doing. I'm going to go back. This is how I'm doing with this one. And this is my line here. So as you can see, this is where I was previously. And this is where I need to be to meet my goal. So I am almost there. Like I think maybe like two more uses maybe and I'll hit my goal. Yeah, two, maybe three more uses and I'll hit my goal. It's kind of weird because sometimes it looks closer than others. And so because I'm so close on this, like I want to go ahead and select a product because by the time like the end of this week rolls around, I would have met my goal on this, which is so exciting because I've literally just been like, oh my God, this product all year. So this is a nice product. I prefer it without emulsifying it with water. I prefer it with just the um, oil bits, but it has a, like a tea tree element to it. Yeah, and I don't love that because my skin is not oily. It does not need a lot of clarifying. Like it's not acne prone, so for me, this is a, like, like a tad bit too harsh. And that's why when I say like, I want a pure oil, like I want an oil to cleanse my skin. And this is just slightly, slightly too harsh because it has that, that tea tree and it has an emulsion factor to it. It's just a little bit too much. So I, you know, I had to told the story about why I purchased this versus like a pure oil, you know, I will, I'll obviously I'll finish this. I think it's a better product for me in the summer. So, you know, I'll, I'll use it, but I would not repurchase that. So let me share with you how I'm doing with the other three items that I have. So last month I was like, I'm so sick and tired of talking about these products. I just rolled in a six item because I just couldn't take it anymore. So I do have three other items left to share with you. The first item is the Algenist Elevate Advanced Retinol Serum. So I've been working on this since the beginning of the year. It's like the never ending product. I don't know what to say about this other than I'm still using this. I think I may start trying this on my arms as well because I I noticed the other day that there's a little bit of buildup and like that ordinary serum just didn't help even though I am using, and you know, sometimes even you do everything and your KP flares up. That's just been my experience. Like, I don't know if it's hormonal or what, but sometimes it's just, no matter what you do, it's just like you have a bad, you know, week and all of a sudden you've got bumps everywhere. I don't know. So anyway, but I may start using this on my arm, you know, as arms, <laughs> not just one arm, but both arms. So we'll see. I may, I may start incorporating that into my KP treatment. And then I have the Timeless Coenzyme Q10 Serum. And this is actually an older bottle that I refilled with the, I think it's the four ounce size that I have in this. And so I want to finish what is, what I filled it up with. And that's kind of how I'm doing so far. So between that first and second line was actually two months because I had forgotten to update it for two month time frame, And so that's why there is a large amount of progress between those two marks. But you can see there how much progress there is since the last month. So I feel like there's steady progress with this. I would say a couple of months and I'll have this um, serum kind of, or the serum that's in this bottle worked out. I really do enjoy this serum.
And obviously I have a four ounce bottle, so I am set for a while. The last item I have is the Patchology Flash Patch Rejuvenating Eye Gels. And I rolled these in last month and I have been using these. I think I've maybe used, what, three, probably three times since last month. So this is how these are looking now. And I usually leave these upside down, like I leave the bottle upside down in my bathroom let's see, let me close this so it has this little doohickey this little paddle thing to take the masks out and so i'll flip it up upside down so the serum gets into the eye patches that i'm about to take out <sighs> scared the crap out of me what are you looking at there's nothing there But I do enjoy these eye patches. I'll probably use one tomorrow because I got like no sleep last night and I will need these tomorrow. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so let me share with you the items that I decided to bring in for this month to replace the items that I finished. So the first item, because this is May Mask Challenge Month, I decided to bring in a mask. This is the Kiehl's Avocado Nourishing Hydration Mask. And it's just this little tiny sample of this. It is what, 10 grams? Yep, it's this consistency here. So hopefully I can finish this this month. I'm, I'm hopeful there isn't much left. There isn't much in here. So yeah, I'd like to get that done. I also went digging and like looked at some of my older products and I found this Caudalie Premier Crew The Serum. And it is this product here, it's a deluxe size sample. And I was like, okay, I probably need to use this cause it's older and it's only 10 mLs as well. I usually don't bring deluxe size samples in this project, but because I just hauled a giant two giant bottles of timeless serums i was actually going to bring those like the two smaller bottles i have of those into this project but i noticed like a few serums that were older than those so i want to work on those first before i bring those two bottles in so we're gonna work on this first and then the last thing i want to bring in is this toner this is the indie lee coq10 toner and i love this stuff i mean i'm actively using this right now i want to bring it in because there are some days where i'm like let's just skip the toner step so i want to make sure that i'm doing the toner step and hopefully by having it in the project i will do that so this is a what size bottle is this 4.2 fluid ounce bottle. So I will mark this right now so that we have a starting point. There we go. And we'll see, we'll see how well I do for the next update. All right, so that is my update for Skin Is In. Hopefully you guys are kicking booty on this project, unlike me, although I did well this month. I am super excited to have that freaking eye cream out. Yay. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys are doing well, staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. And here's Ziggy. He's unenthused. What are you doing? Oh, you're gonna lick that. What are you doing? What's going on with my hair? What's up? What do you see? I don't see anything. There's no bugs, nothing. Hey, Mr. Man. What are you doing?
always when I'm filming. And I, 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 I know. <clears throat> wow. What's going on with you? Let me finish this video and then I'll play with you.